So we're both doing CT. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I do my CT from fully seated position. Right. You do your CT from MIP. Consistently. Okay. Yes. So as we're communicating this out to the general dentist about what position to use, they have to know that we also have more information. Right. Okay. We are measuring uh, with additional imaging. So I'm routinely doing MR and <clears throat> you probably are doing MR as well in a large number of your patients. Three times a week on average. 80% of my practice is uh, general. 20% is dedicated TM. Uh, usually I see about three TM patients a week. Every one of those that walk in for that purpose, I scan. In my local, let me tell you this real quick, in my local population of the 80%, I now know how to screen them clinically and when to apply the, uh, the need for scanning. I run into that probably, I would say, once a month in my normal patient pool. The need to scan the joints with CT and MRI. So that, I think, is a huge player, and it's not necessarily based on uh, symptoms. Oftentimes, it's based on signs and the metrics that we use. For example, I use joint vibration analysis as a screening tool but I know it's limitations. But every patient that walks into my practice, we use the JVA because it gives us, it's like taking blood pressure at a physical, at a physician's office. Then just because my pressure's high doesn't necessarily mean I have plaque in my arteries, maybe there's medication involved, sympathetics are ramped up, who knows. But the point is, it's a number, it's reproducible. And if nothing else, the JVA forces us to record a vertical range of motion, the JVA quick. So that itself makes that part of the digital record, and we can track this over time. But I say all this to say that in my practice, which is 80% general, I'm finding that I need to scan someone with CT and MRI about once, maybe twice a month in the general population, coming to me uh, without a TMJ problem. They're just going to see Dr. Nick for um, the high-tech things that he does, the, C, uh, the lasers, the CAD cam, what have you. They're not coming to me for TMJ problems.